Congratulations on the purchase of your new Tenant Model S20 Compact Sweeper. Not only will your machine's highly efficient cleaning systems perform well the day you receive it, but for a long time to come. This operator training video is presented in sections. Safety, how the sweeping systems work, controls and instrumentation, pre-operational checks, changing the brushes, cleaning with your machine, and emptying and cleaning your machine. It is the operator's responsibility to operate the machine safely. The safety labels that appear on the machine indicate important information you need to be aware of when operating the machine. Your machine can effectively sweep dirty areas. As the machine travels forward, the side brush or optional dual side brushes edge clean along racks and walls to pull debris into the path of the main sweeping brush. The main brush sweeps the debris from the floor into the hopper. An optional vacuum wand can also be used to reach those hard to get to areas. To control dust, a vacuum fan draws airborne dust through a highly efficient three-stage dust filtration system called SweepMax. And clean air is exhausted. The key switch is used to start and stop the machine. The steering wheel can be adjusted for operator comfort. Pull out the T-handle and position the steering wheel. When the T-handle is released, the steering wheel will lock into position. The horn button is placed in the center of the steering wheel for easy access. There are indicator lights in front of the operator on the left control panel. On the top left is the clog dust filter indicator. If this indicator comes on, the dust filter is clogged. Use the filter shaker control lever to shake the filter clean. On the bottom left is the hopper temperature indicator. If there is excessive heat in the hopper, this indicator comes on. Immediately stop the machine and correct the problem. On the top right is the hopper door position indicator. When the hopper door is open, the light turns off. The hopper door must be fully open before sweeping with the machine. On the bottom right is the hydraulic filter clogged indicator. If this indicator is on, the filter is clogged. Contact a qualified service person to correct the problem. To the right of the indicator panel is a battery charge level gauge. When the battery is fully charged, all sections of the gauge are lit. As the battery charge is depleted, the indicator reflects the remaining charge. Lower in the dash panel is the hour meter that indicates the number of hours the machine has been operated. Use this information to determine machine service intervals. Below the hour meter is a parking brake on indicator. Do not move the machine with the parking brake on. If the indicator is lit, release the parking brake. The headlights, tail lights, and the optional revolving or flashing light are controlled by a switch on the upper right corner of the dash panel. Press the bottom of the switch to turn on the headlights, tail lights, and the optional warning light. Place the switch in the middle position to turn off all lights. Press the top of the switch to turn on the headlights and tail lights. The large red button below the key switch is the emergency stop button. When pressed, all power is removed from the machine controls. To reset the system, turn the button in the direction and restart the machine with the key. The vacuum fan duct and filter shaker control lever provides operator control of the dust control and filter shaker systems. When the lever is to the right, the vacuum fan duct is blocked and there is no dust control. When the lever is in the middle position, the duct is open for normal sweeping with dust control. With the key on and the lever pushed and held to the left, the dust filter shaker motor runs. The shaker motor should be activated often in dusty conditions and each time before dumping the hopper. The lever on the far left is the hopper raise and lower control lever. Note, before raising the hopper, be aware that the ceiling height required is 98 inches or 2.5 meters. To raise the hopper, pull the lever backward and hold it until the hopper is fully raised. For safety, when the hopper is raised, engage the hopper safety leg. To lower the hopper, remove and store the hopper safety leg. Then push and hold the hopper control lever until the hopper is fully lowered.
The lever to the right is the hopper door open and close lever. Pull the hopper door lever backward to close the hopper door and push the lever forward to open it. To activate the main brush, lower the main brush lever to the working position. To deactivate the main brush, raise the main brush lever to the up and locked position. The main brush idler plug has a brush wear indicator that is used to determine the amount of main brush remaining. Replace the main brush when indicated. To maintain the proper adjustment, observe the main brush indicator and adjust the control lever stop to match the wear level. To adjust the control lever stop, loosen the securing knob, move the stop to the proper location, and secure the knob. To activate the side brush, lower the side brush lever. To deactivate the side brush, raise the lever to the up and locked position. The side brush adjustment knob is located on the panel in front of the operator's knee. Turn the knob to the left to lower the side brush and to the right to raise it. The machine direction of travel and propel speed is controlled by a foot pedal. Press on the top of the foot pedal to propel the machine forward. Press the bottom of the foot pedal to propel the machine in reverse. The further you press the pedal in either direction, the faster the machine propels. To the left is the brake pedal. The brake pedal must be used to stop the machine. Also to press the brake pedal to control machine speed when going down ramps. To set the parking brake with the brake pedal depressed, press down on the toe pedal and remove your foot. To release the parking brake, depress and release the brake pedal again. Before cleaning with your machine, there are a few pre-operational checks that need to be done to confirm your machine is ready to be used. Check the condition of the main brush. Note, for maximum brush life and best performance, remove any string, banding, plastic wrap or other debris wrapped around the brush and rotate the main brush end to end after every 50 hours of operation. Check the main brush compartment right hand skirt for damage and wear. Check the side sweeping brush for damage and wear. Remove any string, banding, plastic wrap or other debris wrapped around the brush. Check the main brush compartment left hand skirt for damage and wear. Check the hydraulic fluid level. Check the battery electrolyte level in each cell. Check for leaks and rubbing hoses or wires. Check the headlights tail lights, and safety lights. Check the steering and brakes for proper operation. Raise the hopper. Set the safety leg. And check the hopper skirt and brush compartment skirts for wear or damage. Check the service records to determine maintenance requirements. Rotating the main brush after every 50 hours of operation helps the brush function properly until replacement is required. To change or rotate the main brush, first stop the machine on a level surface. Next, turn off the machine and set the parking brake. Open the driver's side main brush compartment door to access the brush. Next, unlock the idler plate by turning the T-handle counterclockwise until loose. Firmly grasp the brush idler plate and pull it from the machine. Then pull the brush down and out of the brush compartment. Slide the new brush onto the drive motor hub.
Reinstall the brush idler plate on the machine. Secure the idler plate by turning the T-handle clockwise. Close the brush door and secure the latch. The side brush, or optional dual side brushes, offer a wider sweeping path and allow you to clean next to walls and racks. To change the side brush, raise the hopper slightly, set the parking brake, lower the side brush, and turn off the machine. Remove the brush retainer pin and remove the brush from the motor shaft. Place the new brush on the motor shaft, install the retainer pin, Lower the hopper and raise the brush to the up and locked position. Before sweeping with your machine, manually pick up oversized debris, wire, string, twine, or any other debris that could become wrapped around or tangled in the brushes. Plan your sweeping in advance and try to arrange long runs with minimum stopping and starting. To prepare for sweeping, set the hopper door lever forward to the open position and turn the key clockwise to start the machine. Next, confirm the vacuum control lever is in the center position. Then confirm that the hopper is lowered and that the main brush lever and hopper door lever are both forward. With these levers forward and the vacuum system on, you are prepared to sweep with your machine. If the side brush is to be used, lower it to the working position. Release the parking brake, press the propel pedal, and begin sweeping. Note, for safety, drive slowly on inclines and slippery surfaces. To stop the machine, release the propel pedal and press the brake pedal. To stop sweeping, raise the brushes and use the vacuum duct and shaker control lever to initiate the dust filter shaker system. When your hopper is full, or when your cleaning is finished, the machine needs to be emptied and cleaned. First, pull the hopper door lever backward to close the hopper door. Next, initiate the dust filter shaker system. Position the machine near the debris container and raise the hopper. Place the hopper over the container and push the hopper door lever forward to open the door and dump the debris. Next, close the hopper door, back away from the container and lower the hopper. For safety, before leaving or servicing the machine, stop on a level surface, set the parking brake, and turn off the machine. Performing the daily operational checks, making needed adjustments and following the proper operating procedures for your Tenant S20 Compact Sweeper will ensure that it will perform in top condition throughout its useful lifetime. You will find it cleans better, has fewer maintenance issues, and effectively enhances your environment for a long time to come.